Hi. All right. Let's say you've already found information out of our websites, the reputable websites, and some reference book information, but you want to dig deeper into a specific topic of your country. Okay. So let's. Um, so then you can go to OneSearch, and OneSearch searches all of the library databases at once. And then you can narrow down your search results once you get your results. And let's say you're looking at South Africa and you want to look at migration uh, in, within the country and around the country. So we could go to OneSearch, and this is the same box that appears on the library homepage. I just duplicated it here. And remember back to the video on search strategies. And if you don't remember, there is a tab that just goes over, there's written um, hints on your search strategies down in this tab down here. But our country is a phrase, so I'm going to put it in quotation marks so that it searches it as a phrase. And I want to narrow it to articles that have the word migration in them. So I'm going to use the Boolean operator and. We found 162,000 results, a lot. It's sorting them by relevance, which I highly recommend keeping it sorted by relevance. You could do newest or oldest, but sometimes your material becomes very irrelevant. So if you wanted to sort by date, you can go down here in the left-hand column, the limiters that we have. Let's say you just want articles within the last 10 years, articles, eBooks, videos, and so on. You can also use other limiters in this left-hand column. Like if you wanted a book or an ebook, you can uh, scroll down to specify what type of information, a discipline, and there is one for international relations and so on. I'm gonna go back up to my list. I'm just going to look at two here. So the first one's a journal article out of the journal Demography 2013. Click on the title, it's full text online. We have Moving Across Boundaries, Migration in South Africa, 1950 to 2000. That's the title of the article, author, journal, title, volume issue, date, page numbers. It's assigned a document object identifier. That's a unique number given to this article. Not all articles will have a DOI. An abstract or summary of the article shows up first. This is a out of the ProQuest database. And ProQuest uh, gives you the option, you can play the article. So it will read it to you if you prefer, right here. Over in the left-hand column, you could look at the PDF within the document. And that's this PDF's handy, like if you just wanna read it as a PDF, or you can download the PDF. And this is handy. Obviously, if you want to download it to whatever device you have, and including your smartphone, because you can download PDFs usually to your smartphones. The difference with the PDF, I'm going to scroll down to towards the bottom. It includes any charts or graphs that you might have. Like this one has a really nice graph that explains the information easily. Plus, you can save it to whatever device. This article is cited by 15 other articles in the ProQuest database. And sometimes it's useful to look at those because you might find our other articles that are on your topic um, that way. It also has related items over here. So you might take a look at the related items to see if there are additional articles that might be of interest to you. You have to cite it, click on cite, it came up with MLA, but if you wanted APA, be sure to change to APA. Always check and be consistent in your paper. I'm going to go back to my list. It opened that article as a separate tab. The second book down is an ebook. 
or the second item down is an ebook. The full text is online. It looks like it might be on topic. I can click on it. It gives a description of the book right here. You can download the book to your device, and I'm not going to show you how to do that because it depends on what device you have, but it will prompt you what to do when you're downloading. More often, you might just read it online and take notes. So you can just click on read online, gives a table of contents, which you can break down even further, go to a specific section if you're interested. You can also search within eBooks for specific words or phrases. To cite it in this uh, ProQuest eBook Central, it looks like little quotation marks there. So if I click on it, it gives you the MLA citation. You can change to APA if you need to. Notice you have to clean it up a little bit, like South Africa, the S and the A should be capitalized there, but at least you can copy and paste it and work from there. Back to my result list and my library research guide. I've highlighted it some poli-sci databases that might be of interest to you. In other videos, we saw some articles from Credo, Reference, and Gale eBooks. Um, I also gave you a link to the current New York Times. We have also the historical New York Times from 1861 to date. So that's kind of interesting, can be interesting to look at. The Wall Street Journal, and then some political science databases down here towards the end. But remember, all are indexed in one search. So when you search one search, you're gathering some of that information too. Thank you.